Hello YouTube. Hello YouTube. And we're back again with another Gem of Turk segment. Tonight we have the Rough Rider Heritage 22 Magnum. This is by far one of the guns I have had the absolute most fun with in my entire gun life here. I mean, I absolutely love this little thing. It's cheap. Now, first of all, you cannot buy this particular model. This is we have customized the heck out of this. Um, the G, uh, what is it, G10 handles? Thanks. Yes, yeah, we got them from eBay. Pretty good deal from a dealer right out here in North Carolina. Mm -hmm. Which I did have a prop, uh, hell of a time, you know, I had to drill out the holes because the holes weren't exactly the right size and they wouldn't fit, so I had to drill all that. It took me about three hours to get them exactly fit this gun. And this was a special cylinder you got from Heritage himself, wasn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. I think it matches that. But, um, what is it? Sterling silver? Yeah. Sterling silver? Is that what it is? Stainless steel? Stainless steel. Yeah. Um, uh, but all in all, this is a very fun little gun to shoot, isn't it? Mm-hmm. I like it. But, you know, like I said, for, uh, what did you pay? What did we pay? What, it was $180? Yeah, I think so. And yeah. you shoot 22s, so they're cheap. Yeah, 22. And we got the Magnum, you know, the Magnum cylinder. Right, we did that. Uh, and like I said, this is just done. It's just a lot of fun. Yeah, as you know, I love the single action army clones. I wish I had a real Colt single action. Well, my mom does have a real Colt single action army. She has a pace. Uh, pace. I, 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 I always want to call it a peacema uh, peacemaker for some reason. But, you know, a peace peacemaker. Uh, ugh, I'm tongue tied, not guys, forgive me. She has a Colt peacemaker and a Colt Dragoon that belonged to my great grandfather. She lets me take them out and clean them every once in a while, that's about it. But, uh, yeah, for the money, this gun's amazing. I think you, Birdie, and Cimarron have 22s, but, you know, they're way more expensive. Right. But they are, I think, you know, better bluing. This gun does have some issues. The bluing is a little bit thin because it will just start wearing through use right here. You can probably see there's some, just... I mean, we take care of our guns. We keep them on, you know, immaculate care of them, but it still just comes off their use. So the balloon isn't really that great. See right here, guys, it's just coming off. It rubs off really easy. But for the money, you can't complain. Okay. <coughs> so, we need a case for that one. Yes, we do. So what's your opinion on this little gun? A seat in your hand. This is a long barrel gun. I mean, wow. I don't know what it is about a chick with a big old revolver, even though it's a clone. <laughs> this this um this makes it a little heavy yeah well um, no, revolvers are just ha heavier anyway you know these old school revolvers uh there's one i have one major beef with this gun you know like i said i'm a i'm a single action army connoisseur i absolutely hate this i don't know why heritage does this heritage have you ever seen my pathetic little gun channel i absolutely hate this you destroy the look of your gun with this god awful ugly safety right here <laughs> no single action army has a safety right here this is pathetic guys this just destroys this beautiful gun's look it is terrible 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 other than that i love this gun right but this safety just like ugh it just ruins the look at it. look at it it just sticks on the side like this it's so <laughs> disgusting other than that, I absolutely love this gun. It is, like I said, a spawn clone. You know, I did. You know, I have that one Cimarron as a forty-five long coat clone. Right. It's absolutely beautiful. He even does the C O L. See, this is not good, but the yeah. Cimarron actually gets the Colt thing in down pat, perfect. So, good quality right there. Mm -hmm. But. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a gem. Yeah, this gun's definitely not a turd, even though that safety makes it look like a turd. Please, Heritage, stop doing that. <laughs> I know it's probably easy, but I know, like I said, hammer blocks, you know, I know it probably costs a lot to redesign that, your design, but come on. When you come out with a new model, you need, guys need to change that. But, uh. Other than that, this gun is a really good gun. And we've had a blast with it, literally. Throw that twenty two uh, mag cylinder in there, even more fun. But for the money, this is one of my absolute favorite guns of all time. 
is the Heritage Rough Rider. So a major thumbs up to you guys at Heritage. Keep up the great work. Amazing. All but your safety. It sucks. It is ugly. Ugly. All right. I'm done with my rant. All right. As always, guys, this is a gem for me. And this is like almost a sparkling diamond other than that horrible safety. It, it's five and a half stars for me. Or gems. <laughs> <laughs> so, not a turd. Okay. Your opinion on it. What do you think about it? Um, I'll run my mouth. Yeah whole time about this thing. Yeah, it's a gym. It's fun to shoot and um don't have much pop at all. No, nah, twenty twos don't. Yeah. So and cheap. I mean cheap to shoot, not cheap but cheap to shoot. Right. You know, like I said, if if it wasn't for that safety being there, this would look you couldn't tell the difference between a little forty five long crawl almost. Right. But you know, as soon as you spot that safety you're like, Oh that's a heritage, you know. Yeah. Dead beat, you know. I know they make some big bore guns, which I love to get my hands on one of their big bore guns. Chambered in either 45 long crawl or 357 mag. Oh, yeah. But I probably, I hate to say it, if the balloon's not done a little bit better, I probably would never buy one of their big bores. Yeah. I'd probably get Uberti or Cimron. But yeah. Just because Cimron and Uberti is a higher quality. I still want to get me another one like we had the first time. That, oh, yeah, that rough rock. I like it. Was, um, was it the it choker was bullet? It was, it was lighter. Well, the G10 grips they make it a little bit heavier. Oh. Instead, of, it's not the cylinder; it's just the grips are heavier because it's G10. Oh. But they had the Coca-Cola grips on it, yeah. Which was fake, you know. I still simulated, but still, it made it lighter. But, but yeah, guys, if you want to make a clone of this sim, uh, of this, oh, what's that sim? It's Heritage. Go through their website, order this sim. They're beautiful. Girls with the hammer, puffily, and this is on eBay to get a one of a kind. But sim, but uh. Heritage, if you listen, change that safety because it makes your guns butt ugly. Otherwise, they're beautiful. Yeah, see what I mean? That's just ugly. <laughs> just ugly, ugly, ugly. All right, I'm done ranting. As always, guys, good night. Thank you for watching. Like and share if you want to. Hit the thumbs up, thumbs down. It helps us either way. So, as always, good night, guys.